the sharp tank no <laughs> jumper sharpest coolest podcast in the world and today ladies and gentlemen we have the honor of sitting down with Sharice Mills what's up y'all how you doing what's going on I see you getting lit over there man I hey look I'm about to put this out so I can engage in the conversation <laughs> with you I just wanted to take me a couple hits all know? right I see I see you got a mellow out for this one yeah got hey I just like to have some organic conversations. I think that's what makes the best interviews overall, just makes them a, a good pop, like whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I really believe that. That's what's up. So, t so you you do music? I do. You know what I'm saying? How long have you been doing music? Oh, man, for a minute, for a minute. I went to Manhattan School of Music where I'm classically trained, so I do this. Yeah. I heard you done sung for the president before. I have. Two of them. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was uh, Bill Clinton, yes. George Bush, right? Yes. Not the daddy, the son. <laughs> <laughs> He's so silly. I'm just saying, not the, not the daddy, the son, right? Absolutely, yeah. Man, what was, I mean, I it's not every day that I get to sit down and talk to somebody that's actually been around some of our presidency. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Whether they've been in office or not, does it change the fact of, who they were. So, you know, I'm I'm curious and I'm sure the viewers are curious, like, what was that experience like, like singing for the pre like presidents? You know, I will say my favorite was Bill Clinton because he had this aura about him when he walked in the room. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, now I see why a lot of people respected him, mm -hmm. despite how he came out of the game. But, you know, he had this am amazing aura to him. To where the one picture I took with him, I was cheesing like a motherfucker. I was so mad. I was like, damn, Ma, this picture is crazy. Yeah. But it was that that aura that he carried. And I was like, that's an amazing president because you you demand that commandment. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And he definitely did. And his wife, during her speech, actually spoke. And she was like, I've never heard all four stanzas of the, the Star Spangled Banner until Sharice Mills performed it. And I was like, ooh. What a blessing to hear that. Well, I have to go back to what you said. And you said you was like, um, you know, before he went out the game. How do you feel like he went out the game? Man, for for, for someone sucking his dick? Come on. I mean. <sighs> I understand, but look what's Sharice. happening now. Look at Trump talking about grab by a pussy. Like, things that are so different. That man was already like that. Things are so different, He was, a, a, understandable, but you got to think about it. it, it this man was never in any type of legal yeah. type of work. No scandal. You know what I'm saying? No. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, Trump. He was never that. Like, this man was a businessman, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, who made a couple of great business moves and ended up getting on. He's fell in bankruptcy. He's done all the shit. Mm -hmm. He's a regular dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that people fail to realize is that they all are. Why do we hold people <clears throat> to a higher expectation than we hold ourselves? Well, you know? I, I, well, hey, look what happened with Jay Morant. I'm sorry. When you when you sign up for a certain role, you have a certain role model you gotta you gotta keep. You sign cool. that contract, that dotted line say you gotta do this X Y Z one two three. You are not just human anymore. Well, You're setting an example for everybody. I, I I agree. I agree to a certain extent, and I agree to where like yeah, you don't need to be throwing up gang signs and shit like that, right? You don't. Mm -hmm. that that you don't even know what a lot of that stuff is you know what i mean mm -hmm. i've never heard of him being a west coast ascendant <laughs> or anything just like that talking about so that i understand that but when it comes down to the gun factor and we'll get back to you like when yeah. it comes down to the gun factor he has no felonies right he has no like when has it been illegal for somebody to possess a gun because he's in the light that when he's you're in. in the nba there are certain rules and regulations you have to follow you're, that's just that you don't see lebron true. doing that you don't see kobe this doing is, it and that's why they got the name that they got this is true but you guess know? what it's unfortunate this day this day and age has changed the drill rapper era has <laughs> formed and has been born but i think that's so, the problem that's it, the problem. This, it is. There's too much things being able to be done this day and age. That's why Bill Clinton got thrown out at that time because a lot of the things that that are, are doing now wouldn't was not acceptable back then. Yeah, it's like if this. He, if Clinton was in office now, that whole scandal would would, would um what's her name? What's the girl With name? With who? That sucked his dick. Bill Clinton. Yeah. Fucking um. I got it right you know, on the tip you know, of my tongue. You know what I'm yeah, talking about. I know exactly what you're talking if about. It had happened, my mind. If it had happened... Monica Lewinsky. Monica. If Monica it had Lewinsky. happened now, he wouldn't have been expunged for that. I yeah. think the times are different. But I th feel like every day, even things on TV are, are allowed that was never allowed before. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm, listen, I'm in agreement, and that's why I was trying to say that drill rap has taken over. It's a difference. These kids are influenced. But in is he a rapper or is he an NBA player? True, but they're influenced. But listen, even fucking even Kobe and <laughs> Jordan, all them, like even LeBron, listen to rap music. True. You know what I'm saying? They were influenced by rap music, especially True. when you got some of these rappers that are famous calling out your name in a yeah. track. It's, you think it, it's it, it unfortunate. Boosts you, it boosts you in a different way. But like I said, I don't agree with the, the gang shit for him because I don't think he knows too much about that. And he's only 23, so he's young. He's he, making crazy you, mistakes. He's, listen, what do y'all expect out of yeah. him? He's a kid yeah. that got a whole lot of money that he's never had before. Mm -hmm. This is a kid from a place that, man, the population is 3,000 people. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Like but it's, it's a, I ain't gonna lie, we're not making no excuses because you no had excuse. one chance before it's and he's no, he did it again. It's no excuse. Come on now. But having a, the gun, what if the gun's registered to it him? Don't, it does not matter. No, I, Shark, that's what it says I, on a quick Google search, mm -hmm. section nine or whatever said, the NBA rules that if they have a gun, the team has to know about it, has to be registered, and it's allowed only in certain settings, which has to be approved by them. You see? And that's just a quick Google search. I don't know 100%, but... Kind of makes sense, and I love that. Dog. When you yeah. sign that contract, you got to know what you agree to. I, and I and I agree, but I'm just looking at it like that. These are kids that have never had nothing. They're just trying to live. Now, do, do I think it's give, right? Do, do they, I think it's mm -hmm. right? No, mm -hmm. I don't. But I have to understand that we were young too. Like, and it's e this this day and age, kids don't even move off their own accord. <clears throat> They're easily influenced. The influence game today is at an all-time high. It's so easy to catch your child yep. or my child and easily influence them, and it'll be happening under your nose, and you never Absolutely. even know. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. So it's a, it's a. I feel like it's a different day and age today. Do I think that it's right for what he did? <clears throat> no, but we're treating him like he killed somebody. Like, and I well. think that, like, if you want to suspend him, I think that they should have did what my man. Jay Will said on ESPN, um, shout out to them, Jay Will, Keyshawn, and Max. <laughs> you know, he was like, they should have put him on a heavier suspension before. You know you what, know? though? Like hey, you said, influence, snack. but it's influential when you're showing a gun and you have children looking up to you. That's the problem. You got all these school shootings and whatnot, and it's not cool to, to be like, oh, it's, it's, it's cool to pop a gun up and on Instagram Live. You, you've seen so many kids thinking it's cool to carry a gun, and that's just that. If he was a normal citizen, he could do what the hell he wants to do. But you're not considered a normal citizen. Just like back, let's let's circle back, just like the president, Bill Clinton is not a normal citizen. He cannot just go having anybody suck his dick and not think something's gonna happen in return. But and and I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you once again. But I also feel like people make mistakes. The men at the end of the day. That's all I'm saying. So to hold these people as mm -hmm. almost like this idol, like not saying we idolize, but we're putting them in this where we feel like people idolize them for being in these high profile places. Mm -hmm. And it's like these motherfuckers like they're human. They, man, they mm -hmm. still like ketchup and chicken nuggets, man. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, man. You expect them just to like just get away from it today. And mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like people have to make mistakes. John Morant has made a couple of horrible mistakes, but not as bad. I mean, come on. Look how they did fucking now. And I love Michael Vick, but look how they did Michael Vick back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Over the dog fighting and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, that was ugly. That was bad. Dogs were dying. They find oh, dogs by the pool and all types of shit. That was crazy. This is a fucking couple of kids. It, he's a basketball player, 22 years old. They're riding. He's listening to some music. And he's off influenced, season. Off season. Off season. Mm -hmm. Influenced with one of his homies. He want to look down. You know what I'm saying? He wants to look cool because you know why? I'm sure when he goes around him, niggas tell him, man, hey, man, back the fuck up. You just a basketball player. That fucks with a nigga's mode a little bit. Especially well, when, you're, when you're looking for a sense of respect. Well, that's why you need <clears> to have <throat> proper guidance around you. Period. Very true. You need to have the, a, a team of people that love and care for you that's going to have the right people around you. Period. He shouldn't be hanging around with people that's going to allow that to happen. What kind of and people did you hang around? Listen, my mother. My mother, yeah. I, she was so strict. I, I couldn't even sleep over a friend's house. And the one time she did let me, I went to a, ba a, a bashment party, and she came ready. DJ, shut the music off. Sharice knows your mama's outside. She whooped my ass in front of all the kids. My mom don't play. Yeah. She don't play. Yeah. Real strict. 
but you have to have proper guidance. I have a small niche of friends around me and best believe good influence. If you don't, what's going to happen? Birds of a feather flock together. How old are you, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 35. 35. Mm -hmm. Okay, me and you are the same age. Mm -hmm. I think that we've came to the point to where we've done all of our fuck-ups. Nigga, you fucked up, too. Yeah, I, I trust I me. I did some fucked up. up. Yeah, I fucked up. You Man. fucked up. We are human. So yeah. I don't want to sit there and not give anybody else that fair shot. You're right. And that fair do, man. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He's not 35 making these mistakes. Mm -hmm. He's 22, man. Mm -hmm. The nigga just is, he's just now being able to drink. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Like, what y'all expect out of him? Like, man. for him to be able to file his own taxes and just be this fucking great citizen? Oh, yeah, he's been taking care of business since he was fucking 13. <laughs> no, I'm he's not, a fucking whiz. The other side of this is probably going to lose the 40 million bonuses. Now, that's what I feel stuff. like stings. And I'm, we're talking about, uh, I think it's about, it's going to be anywhere from about 200 million. No, it's going to be more than that. It's going to be about 200 to 250 yeah. million. Because he was supposed to sign his new contract this summer. So you just messed that up. Because yeah. they're going to be looking at this like, hold up, you're a liability now. You know what I mean? And it's so unfortunate. I don't know how he's going to get back, bounce back from I, this I one. understand it. Um, I understand it in a sense of, because I'm like, okay, if the signs were there and he fucks around and goes and does something to somebody, they're going to hold these videos accountable, accountable that Adam Sadler, you know what I'm saying? Adam didn't do anything about it. The commissioner of the NBA, that he didn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. They spanked him on the wrist and they sent him away. Mm -hmm. I just, like I said, I just think that we need to assess the situation a little bit more thoroughly, especially the adults. He's a child, he's, he's a grown man, but he's younger than us. He's still a kid. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember what we were doing at 22. What were you doing at 22, Sharice? Man, what I was doing, hmm. You ain't even gonna tell it all, but I, I understand though. <laughs> You know, I do understand. I, mean, I know I'm not going to get all of it, and, I pro and I'm not supposed Honestly, to. Honestly, I was, I was a woman that was in my bag because I, I ran my own modeling agency when I right fresh out of college. What was it called? Mills Modeling and Entertainment. I managed 83 models. We did liquor products, hair products, commercials, you name it. Yeah. I started off as an Anheuser-Busch girl. I worked for Bacardi, and when I was in college, how I paid for school mm -hmm. was I was a promo girl. Yeah. And getting paid 50 to $75 an hour going to college, that was pretty darn good, right? right? I was like, how can I multiply myself? Because I can't be everywhere. And all the clients used to always, you know, request me. They're like, because I would come up with, like, cute, cute um, programs where I'll give you a kiss if you purchase this product, but it's really a Hershey kiss. Like, I'll create, like, fun things. And they were like, yo, we love Cherise. We want her here. That's I'm like, cool, I'm in right college. I can't cool. be there all the time. It went started from 10 girls to 83 models. So I, I, I was making six figures before I graduated school. So I was always in my bag. So, Be, from, But that was, it, it, it's, it's, that's a lovely ordeal, and I love that. Mm -hmm. But come on, it's chicks. And pretty chicks, pretty chicks are going to sell. They're pretty much going to want them there for anything. It doesn't even <laughs> fucking matter. Absolutely. Even if, even if it's something as simple as eye candy. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to be a Hershey's kiss. The Hershey kiss is going on in the man's mind by having her even fucking around. So it's, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was too much fall to the floor to make that work. Oh, yeah. You know what but I'm saying? But you know, before it's, there were male promoters in clubs, there was female promoters. Because yeah. what they would do is, like, you know, Stoli Vodka and all those companies, they would hire beautiful girls. Aesthetically to, pleasing on the eyes. Beautiful girls to get bottles at a table. Yeah. And without you knowing, they're actually there with free bottles, but you think they bought it just to make you, mind brainwash you to feel like, oh, they love this liquor. Strip clubs still do it to this day, and they'll send girls on promo mm. to where they'll send them to clubs, get them a table, mm -hmm. get them a bottle, and it'll be about nine girls from the strip club, and they'll all be partying, yep. you know? And they'll be in there just making connections and telling them, hey, come back to the strip club. Hey, come on, we're going to go back. They'll mm -hmm. go spend a couple hours there, shoot back to the club. Now, they might have brought... 10 people with them, 15 people with them. Somebody out of that 15 people's got some money that they're willing to spend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody else might be some stragglers. You can get their little bit of ducats and their little change. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, it's still going on is what yeah. I'm saying in a sense. You know, they yeah. they took it even from strip clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've always been about business. You know, yeah. I, I, I focus more on my career as a younger, you know, my, as when I was younger than yeah. anything else. Mm -hmm. So I never really had fun. I started drinking alcohol at the age of 22. Like most, and I'm from the Caribbean. That's good. Most Caribbean people, they drink from like the age of six. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. Like Johnny Walker is the biggest thing. Yeah. So, but I, I, I didn't even drink hard liquor. Champagne was my hardest drink. 
that I would drink. Yeah. So I was a very goody two shoes type of girl. But now, you know, when you get older, you start laying loose. You know, that, that Miley Cyrus comes out of you. Because you know how Miley wanted to break out of that shell? Yeah. That, that happened with me because I was so sheltered for so long, you know? And 2020 hit. Now, and I hate to bring it up, but I have to. Because, see, this is you're going to resonate with me on this. Don't you think that's maybe what John Morant's doing a little bit? Absolutely. Breaking out of his shell. He's been sheltered his entire life. Mm -hmm. His life was already set for him before he even knew what his life was going to be, just playing basketball. His parents already had plans for him. <laughs> People around him already had plans for him. Right. Not his own plans. What if the man didn't even want to play basketball? <laughs> you never fucking know. He's you just good know. at it and go, go get the bag. You know. So mm -hmm. I'm just trying to resonate with you throughout your story mm -hmm. so you can kind of see that. Like you was like, man, I was very sheltered coming up. You mm -hmm. know, I um I didn't get to really experience the world. You know what I'm saying? So when you got outside and you got a taste of it, what'd you do? You ran with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And when money when you got money, it's like you feel like you could do whatever you want. You know? That's why I, I believe that a lot of people need to get the knowledge before they get some bread. I had true. to. I had to because you know what happens is you give somebody some money that they don't even know what to do with it because mm -hmm. they've never had it before. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go through mistakes and they're going to go through fuck ups. Mm -hmm. They're going to go through a lot of those different type of things. You know what I mean? Yep. Before they start to buckle down <clears throat> and say, all right. Fuck this. And hopefully it doesn't have to be, come from a traumatic situation that makes them see the light. Right. You know? Well, you got to live your life through integrity. And that's, yes. that's what our motto is for sure. Like, yeah. you know, I got a record when Neo called integrity because I live my life by integrity. It's so crazy because when I met my husband, he had a brand called Integrity Before Money. Mm. And and I was like, yo, I live my life like that, too. And he's like, well, you the IBM girls, and I'm going to run, run with the IBM guys. Speaking of that, I actually got, got you one of the sweaters. This is oh, for that's you. hard right there. So, bam. Oh, I'm rocking that. That's for you. You're medium, right? Yeah. I'm, thank you. No, I'm a large. You're baby, large? But, uh, okay, yeah. I got you. Don't worry. You got, Don't but trip. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'll keep it over here with Don't me. Don't trip. Yeah, no, much so, love. Much love. So, like you know. I'm big, baby. So, I'll, I'll try it on. You know, I'm going to try it on. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe nigga need to slim down. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, when you live your life like that, yeah. the money will come, but for the right reasons. Right. No, most definitely. You also just dropped a single, uh, drop a bag, is it? I mm -hmm. believe it is. Mm -hmm. Your newest single out right now. Yeah, yeah. I wish we could shop it like at across the street at Goody right now for everybody <laughs> that's in here that can go see it. <laughs> We're in the, you know what I'm saying? Those I, days are long those, gone. Those days are long gone. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. How has it? How has it been for you? Like knowing because I know you came from that era, like you saw that happening. Mm -hmm. How is it today trying to be in? you know, music or trying to be in the game, in the industry today? You know, as an independent artist, I'm actually not opposed to it because mm. it's it's harder. The back in the day route where you'd have to get it from the store and the, yeah. the discs and whatnot, the labels were winning. So mm. being a signed artist was was Real key. Song. But now with, with TuneCore and all these Spotify's and podcasts and whatnot, you're able to get your music out there much, much faster as an independent artist. You can really just click a button and say, I want to distribute my song here, mm. and it's everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not opposed to how music is released now. It's just a matter of now people really just fucking with you because they love it. You know what I'm saying? Not because they're getting paid to. Payola is is it's really messing up real music and real artists. People don't really like something because they truly like it. They like it because someone else likes it. Hmm. They like it because someone says, listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Opposed yeah. to really just saying, yo, I fuck with this shit. This is hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can't wait. I don't know if you heard it already, but yeah. it's, it's, it's a banger. It's, it's a decent. banger. No, for sure. Like, you know, I, listen, I, I love the music game. I just feel like it's allowed... Like, there's people that have no talent in the music industry mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, a chick, like, I, it's made me have more of a respect, like, with people who, like, these drill rappers and the people that rap off beat and all that shit. It's really made me have a more of a respect for R&B and people who actually try to sing right. and try to bring their heart out. To I would, the, listen, I studied six languages. I, I went to music school for this shit. I don't yeah. just do this because, oh, it's cool to do one day. Sing us a little doo-wop. Woo, she was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I could, I could, I could, I could sing you something now. Damn. I, 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 I,
Rupimi al croce di mie contente. That's beautiful. You must have hung out with R. Kelly before. You know, he was an opera singer, too, before he got into R&B. Is, is that the only opera singer you know? <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, because I heard that um, before, you know, R. Kelly was trained to be an opera singer. Yeah. A lot, of people, a lot of people have, They though. say he was originally, that's what he was supposed to be, but, you know, mm -hmm. he, he shined over in, in R&B. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when, when people look at you, they don't see that. Same yeah. thing with me. When and that they... wasn't even a crack at you. Like, people try to, like, because I know people be like, oh, R. Kelly. Like, no, that man can sing his ass off. Mm -hmm. And he really was trained to be an opera singer. Absolutely. So it's, that shit, that's, it's, it's cold to be able to sit with somebody or sit with people that, like, y'all could have possibly traveled the world and did that. You know what I'm saying? And changed the whole <laughs> Christina, game. Christina Aguilera, too. Mariah yeah. Carey. A lot of people don't realize a lot of people have been classically she always trained. Sung, I always noticed she sung with her tongue up. Yeah. It's weird. Because she sings... From it, like it, through her nose or some shit? No, she tries not to. So what she does is she sings to the upper palate right here. So yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a type of... Instead of... You see, there's a difference. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Oh, you got some little bit of... Okay, you got some, <laughs> some flavor to you. You got some flavor to you. Uh-huh. Hey, man, you was just shooting, if I'm not mistaken, because I didn't want to forget this one. You was just... um, I think you were... Uh, shooting something here in L.A. Absolutely. So this and is somebody how somebody tried to, hey, and somebody tried. I think it was two gunmen trying to, try to do something or try to. Yeah. I want you to tell the story. I don't want to sit here and be like, yes, yeah, so two gunmen came up on you, did this. I don't know. I wasn't there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I, what I've heard is what I've heard, but I would like you mm -hmm. to engage it and was, tell us. It was really crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Do sure. you feel like it was an attempted robbery? No, it definitely wasn't attempted robbery. I don't feel it was. Right. Well, um, this is what I need you yeah. here for to clarify that. Yeah. You know? Crazy enough, the entire crew, like, dipped out on us. I was sitting in the car. The crew truck was right behind our car. Mm -hmm. So all the equipment could have been taken if my husband didn't stand up. He's like, listen, we're not doing this. This is not how it's going to yeah. go down. Yeah. You know, either y'all going to shoot or you're going to walk away. Right. And, you know, I'm in the car like I'm I'm doing biblical scriptures. I was there. I was like, Jesus on heavenly fuck. I was like, y'all have children. I went off. I was screaming. out. I said, y'all better go back before y'all. I was like, he, I'm like, my husband don't play. He will shoot you right back. Like I was maybe we don't know. No, he's, we don't want to talk about that. He's been shot I, 10 times. OK, we could talk about that. But. <laughs> We don't want to put. We don't want to put wanna it wanna out put, there. I don't want to listen. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some game, and I was gonna wait to tell you off camera. But I'm saying when you say stuff like that, yeah. you don't know if them people trying to still look for your yeah. husband, whatever. And so when you say neighborhoods and you say certain stuff like mm -hmm. that, these people want people watch this shit. Yeah. So they might be like, oh, okay, well that's where he's from. So now we know where to start mm -hmm. looking. Oh no! Well, they, everybody know where he's from. Don't worry. It's no, cool. that's cool. But you just never. You never know. know. You're you don't right. want to ever give somebody the jump. Right. You know what but I'm this was a random act. This wasn't like planned or premeditated right, or nothing. Right. They were silly standing outside of Deja Vu. You know, it was a strip club scene, I mean, and you know that area is hard. I mean, you that? you have all these camera crews. <laughs> that's you you a lick. You easy lick. Yeah. LA, you know, you could just go to a restaurant, they want to take your chain. So it's just crazy in these streets right now. But the whole entire crew dipped out on us. It was just me, him, and one of his boys that was right. He, he's like, stay with Sharice just in case something goes down. Like he they literally, I was screaming for my life. It I I, I can joke about it now, but at the time it was real. It was real. I really thought I was like, OK, this could be the end, you know, mm. because I know my husband's not backing down. And if he did, they would have robbed us. Who knows? So by me, really, I, I said I looked the man in the eye. I said, you have kids. Go home to your children now. I said, if you believe in Jesus Christ, I was straight up. I said, you better walk away. And straight up, he walked away. They walked away. We got a video footage of that, too. If you Sometimes. Want. Um. And I'm sure your husband could possibly agree. Shout out to him. <clears throat> we have to, and I, I think us as black folks, like it's hard for us because we always want to push the line on shit. Like, yeah. And I feel like we just got to pick and choose our battles a little bit better. Oh, no, you but he I'm had saying? to because I was stuck in the car. True, true. But we got to pick, like, it's just, I don't know. I, I just feel like some things, like if a motherfucker, like if, if I'm with my bitch, homie, and somebody walk up like, nigga, they drawn down. They talk about, nigga, I'm about to shoot your bitch. Nigga, you better give me this motherfucking watch up off your wrist. Nigga, had this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to sit there and be like, nigga, you better not do nothing. Oh, my God, oh, my mama, you no, better not my, do my, nothing. My husband is like that. that. My I'm just saying, I'd rather, and then boom. 
Yeah, I know. And then boom. I know. So I'd rather just go ahead and just tear the watch off real quick and just go like, hey, man, here, man, give, give me my, hey, man, just give me my chick. That's what you want, bro? Mm -hmm. You ain't about to pop my chick. You're not about to pop. She is civilian. Mm-hmm. She's but like, it wasn't just us. They were trying to rob the whole truck. And, that's, and, and I'm just, and I feel that. But I'm just, I'm mm -hmm. just looking at it from if we're just gonna base it off that, right? Mm -hmm. I was just looking like, well, damn. If somebody trying to come, like, if it's me by myself, nigga, it's whatever. Like, nigga, yeah. what's happening? Like, it's just me. You're right, because look at that guy at, at Roscoe's that get, just got killed. Come on, homie, get that shit up. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Like, nigga, you got caught slipping? You got caught slipping. What I do is go back to the war room and regroup. Okay. <laughs> Don't put myself back in them type of situations. Man. Let me live to be able to go to the war room. No, for real. But they really shouldn't have been standing outside that, that club with all that shit out there with no protection. That's the issue that really happened. You know, but moving forward, you learn, you learn, isn't you learn that, every day. Isn't that just a situation that somebody need to learn how to change where they going? But Absolutely. niggas still want to go there just like job. Ja. People still want to go do shit because that's what we've known. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it still falls into the same category. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all we've ever known, man, is even if we've done things right for 300, we went to the fucking to the regular fucking country club for 364 days out the year. That 365th, I want to go to Deja Vu, nigga. <laughs> Straight up. In the you hood. Know what I'm saying? In, in the in, hood. In the hood, and afterwards, <laughs> I want to go to Roscoe. Man, I, I'm not going to lie. And, and it be that good, one though. day, and it be that one day Man. out of that entire year that turns, it can turn it sour. And this is why I keep my husband home most of the time. Like I say, I'm going to cook everything. I, I, at breakfast, lunch, dinner. Because if you could just take yourself out of the situation of, of, of danger, it, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter. It's unfortunate. It, it could not just be the grocery store. I'm not afraid of people. I'm afraid of what I do to people. So I stay my ass in the house. Yep. It's not even worth it, homie. It's not. It's really not. Because a lot of you have to understand something, especially if you're having blessings. Mm -hmm. If y'all are having blessings. The devil like, is a liar. They no right need, there. There's no need to go put yourself in situations that can fuck that off yes. for you. You yes. know what I mean? I tell you. Like, because you can't stop it, homie. Let me tell you something. There's one thing that I know, two things for sure, unless that motherfucker is just a weenie. I've learned that you can't fight no gun. <laughs> Unless that dude that's got the gun on you is just a fucking weenie. Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? And you just take it from him, which is rare. Like, But, but scared motherfuckers, the first one is going to shoot you. Mm. The scariest one is the one that shoots you first. And, and the ones who have nothing to lose, too. And the ones that have absolutely, he don't give a fuck. He can go to jail tomorrow. Fuck it. I'm going to still get out. Yeah. You, on the other hand, you're about to lose your home. You about to lose all your assets, people trying to sue, people trying to do all this extra shit. Mm -hmm. Is it really worth it in the end? Yeah. So I tell my husband that all the time, you know, when you when you when you when you, when you know you'll never back down, it's like, okay, I'm gonna just keep you away from those type of situations. Yeah. You know? It's true. It's true. But back to the it's show. No need to, it's no need to be bad and bougie all the time, which she has the edibles on the way for everybody if they haven't seen them yet, man. She's got the bad and bougie <laughs> edibles coming research. out. Yeah, you got the bad and bougie edibles coming out. I'm going to want to try me one of them, man. Okay, That's I be, got you. I yeah, got for you. real. Make sure you send me a care package. I got you. I need me one. All right, but I got you. But back to the back to the show. Yeah, so you know, bad and bougie is a brand for sure, just like IBM. You know, mm -hmm. I got a beauty collection too. This is laurels. I'm sorry, you know. You know, this is all guys here. We got lashes, lip glosses, you name it. Hey, I don't take that wrong because if these motherfuckers, if motherfuckers is real, y'all got females in your life, right? I would hope. Okay. So, I mean, they can I see that you. and still be like, hey, man, it's cool to look out for your chick. Hey, uh -huh. baby, I got you these lashes. Yep. Try them. Yep, precisely. So, you know, I, I definitely, I'm, 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 I'm about branding for sure. Bad and bougie <laughs> is good, but it, it, some people think being bougie is bad. It's not always being bad. It's just knowing what you want. You feel me? And... I've always I've always repped Bad and Bougie even before my previous show that I did. That's how I I got the name. I want more chance. You, you know? never got it. Uh, you never got it on uh, from the Migos, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I gotta ask. I mean, prior to the Migos, the Migos I was already doing saying that. It's crazy. Because they was ready to fight. People talk about who left me on Bad and Bougie. <laughs> <laughs> they were ready to get it Crazy down, enough, like. I got it trademarked. That's how that will tell you I, I've been doing bad and bougie before even amigos. Ooh we I heard you say something about real chance. Mm-hmm. Were you on that show? I was on that show. Real Chance of Love. Well, uh, it, on the Zeus, they changed it to One More Chance. One More Chance. Yeah. But I remember when he had Real Chance. Yeah. And I think that was on VH1, I yep. believe. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. How was it, that? It, it was crazy. Did it you make was, it to the end? I did. And then I walked. He was the number. So you just did it just to go play games. Let's talk about <laughs> No, he was did playing you, were games. Were you early pre, were you like pre-age troll? <laughs> did you troll him? Like, I, listen, I just want to see if I, I never made it to him, the end. I never I, met him in person. I honestly was giving him a fair shot. I was single at the time. I, you know, I was in Italy when I got casted for the show, right? They were like, yo, the producer was like, I got a show that you'd be perfect for. We're looking yeah. for, you know, an influencer. Because, you know, they want influencers that'll bring traction. I was like, all right. Somebody you know how to speak. Big speakers. Pretty is much. What they want. Not Pretty somebody much. Just sitting they're like, there. they're like, you're not gonna fight. We're, you know, we're not paying you to fight. Because right. you know, people actually get paid to fight, y'all. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you don't pay me, I'm not fighting on that show. So, hence the reason I was the bad and bougie one on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, you sit down, look cute, bossy, all that. I met him, he was corny. I'm sorry. Wasn't my type. So I already knew it wasn't gonna work out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Hence, it's a competition, though. I must still do my job and do it well. Right. And I was like, okay, I could see me building a brand off of this. You know what I, you know what I love about you, but it's fucked up at the same time? Because that's really fucked up. Like, <laughs> y'all yeah, want fellas to hear this. So they be wondering why I am the way I am. You heard her just admit it. Like, I know I wasn't going to fuck with him, but... I'm going to just push the issue anyway because I'm not a loser. I like to win. Hello. So once she got what she wanted, the chase was over. It was over. <laughs> Done. Fellas, everybody out there, <laughs> she's giving y'all some game. A woman's really, she's really giving you game and how so a lot of women will look at men. Like, it's, it, that ride could be over tomorrow. It's not how you get the bitch. It's how you keep, keep her. the bitch. Exactly. Precisely. Mm -hmm. A woman knows who's going to be her husband from the first day, if you are husband material. You know, if you're going to fuck this man, be with this man the first five minutes first, of meeting. First. I'm first telling five you. minutes. I've said this a long time ago, and mm -hmm. it's crazy that you kind of come in, came in and didn't even know but verified what I've said. Mm -hmm. Like, man, a woman knows in the first five minutes of meeting you what she's going to do with you. Yep. If she's going to fuck with you, if she's going to rock with you, she kind of already sees, like, can, can I marry him? Like, mm -hmm. It, you know, it's almost it's it's almost it's it's an um almost like an empath skill. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying a woman carries yep. naturally in her genes. So from that show, I was like, all right, I'm about to create my own bad and bougie dating show, right? Right. I was gonna call it Shoot Your Shot. Then I have network meetings with uh Forrest Bias, which is my new show um network that I just did. And the day of their launch, yeah, I meet my husband. Totally <laughs> fucked up all my plans. How the hell am I doing a dating show when I, I meet the love of my life? I was like, fuck. Now I got to figure out another show idea because this is this ain't going to work. I can't do right. a dating show. Which, and shout out to Chance, man, you know, and his brother Real. Rest in peace, man, uh -huh. for real. I know that really hurt him too, yeah, man, yeah. when he lost his brother. Yeah, it's I crazy. know. Yeah, He's a nice up. guy. Just yeah. not my type. It's not your type. Mm -hmm. You just went on there as a, it was just a challenge for you. It was definitely a challenge. Like real yeah. world, you know? Yeah. Well, these <laughs> motherfuckers know. I... I it kind of fucks up reality TV. Because People don't realize reality TV ain't real. Ain't real. It's acting. It's acting. That's it. That's all. Yo, I think that they've even came to the point to where they give you scripts for the shit now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they were giving them back then, but I know damn well they're giving them now. Like, hey, look, this is what y'all going to do today. It's not really a script, but it's a synopsis. Like, okay, right. the scene's going to start like right. The scene's going to start like this. We want it to end like this. Y'all do it naturally. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's what? A, it's a scenario. Right. And people can naturally do it. You know why they naturally do it? Because uh -huh. that was always naturally them. Exactly. So it's easy to play it's them easy. fucked up ass roles when that was already already you you was already a fucked up person so that's easy right all i gotta do is uh, what just turn the camera on here let me fix my lip gloss i'm right. about to show you what we about to do mm -hmm. yeah you know, that's fucked up <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's some bullshit that's fucked up it's fucking evil <laughs> so you know i met my husband mm -hmm. at the network meeting mm -hmm. uh the network was like yo we got this dope ass show called side chicks of la that we're shooting. I was I like, to talk oh. to you about that, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I'm like, it's a crazy ass name, but shit. How how can we get involved in this shit? Cause this could lead up to my own show. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I needed something else that'll tie in 
me meeting my husband at the time. He was just someone I was dating. You know, I was like, I got to tie it in. I was like, how about you get on this show and let's see how this works. Maybe, you know, we get a side bitch or we get, you know, I don't want to give you the, the synopsis of the show, but you just never know how it could go. I definitely wasn't a side chick, I'll tell you that. Right, but, but were you, do you feel like you was testing your husband or something? Was this like, even though like you were doing it for, a, you know, you're doing it for a show since that's what y'all going to do, mm -hmm. right? Is, is that you like, Low key tested him. Absolutely not. Let me tell you, we we putting ran we ran that shit. We ran I'm that saying, shit. Putting him in situations, it's it's kind of fucked up, right? Putting a man in a situation to where like he can bag bitches and bitches are really on him. You know what I mean? And just expecting him to be like, oh yeah, hey honey, yeah. Honestly, no, we're the same. That. I'm don't I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. We be bagging the bitches together. Uh, well, I wasn't talking about <laughs> just him. I wasn't talking about him per se. I'm talking about just in, overall in general yeah, nah. of a man, you know, because mm -hmm. women do that. I don't. They I try don't to test. set. They try to set their man up for the okie doke, like Hell try no. to have a bitch pop at him. Or you used to see it on like a lot of shows like Maury. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Where they would put a man in the green room. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? With a, with a decoy. I'm like, nigga, how'd you not even know this? The nigga himself. I don't even understand it. But like just doing shit like that and setting people up for failure. Honestly, that's for people who really don't care. about about the person they're dealing with. I knew that was mine. So ain't no way I'm putting mine in, in a situation that I would set myself up for failure. I, I look long, at it like that. How long y'all been together and married? We've been married, we've been together about a, a year and a half. We recently got married in, Feb in February. You guys been together for a year and a half? Mm hmm I tell you, when you know what you want, you know what you want. Hey, man. Hey. When you know what you want. Sometimes I, hey, hey, y'all do what you do. Me personally, and you know from just some of my experiences, I feel like sometimes when you rush into something, like get to really know the person, live with them, um, go on trips with them, see if you can really tolerate them. You, you can know do what that I'm saying? and still You got to listen. It's, and, I'm not, and I'm not trying to take nothing from anybody's situation, but I feel like in a year and a half, two years, and especially getting married, it's a big step. It you know is. what I'm saying? It's a very, very big step in a year and a half and two years, like because it's like you... You're still getting to know that person. People are. You can one, be. Let me with, let me finish. No, I'm let me finish. I'm gonna cut you off. People are still growing. Mm -mm. People are still. You I, grow and you change even after you know them for 15 years. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right that, now. That's cool. Mm -mm. But I always felt like a piece of paper. My personal opinion, a piece of paper can change things. It makes the people act a certain way that they probably wouldn't act if they didn't have that locked down. See, when people start mm -hmm. feeling like, okay, well, I know this person ain't going nowhere, you kind of stop doing the stuff that you did to get the person in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong, Donnie? You stop kind of, you stop kind of getting, you, you stop kind of doing some of the stuff that you were once doing because you feel like this person's not going anywhere or we're locked in. Re-knock me every day. Mm. I want my chick to get, man, re-knock me. Let me re-knock you every day. Yeah. Every day I want to, and it feels good to be able to get my bitch every day. Mm -hmm. It keeps that, that feeling going. If I feel like I've already got it, look what you said, even about the chance. Hey, as soon as you won, you were done with it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a <laughs> so difference. As soon as you won, you were done with it. Once you got everything, but I'm saying once you got business, love, pleasure, and business, I've noticed it all runs hand in hand these days. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking melting pot of it. Mm -hmm. You know, so even with, like I said, the same thing like that. Once a woman kind of gets everything she wants right off the dribble, don't have to the same thing for the man. Mm -hmm. And don't have to really push for that and have to build to that. It's like, what else? What is it? Mm -hmm. Like, what else is it? Like, at that point, like, what else? Or what are, what are we pushing for with each other? We didn't got everything out of each other. Well, what are we going to do? Renew our vows? You could say that, but I know a lot of people who've married from within a month of knowing somebody and having a successful marriage. It, it, it's a give and take thing. Who do you like, know that's gotten like, married in a month, right? Or even in a in one year and still together, like got married within that year and been together still for 20 years. I, I do know that. Only people I know that's been together for 20 years were the people that didn't get married. Because <laughs> guess what? They knew that they could walk out at any given time. Yeah. So it's a you different respect factor. You can still walk out, factor. even with a paper. Paper ain't gonna uh, stop shit. It, it's still, you still gotta go through the court cases. It's still a okay. process. People don't wanna go through that process. Well, so you rather you rather be miserable? No. People, My, but I'm saying no. people don't wanna go through that. Like it's It's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Like, it's easy to say when you're not doing it at that time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I've seen people have to deal with this at that time, and it's completely different.
Mm. It's not what you think it is. You know, I agree to disagree. That's hey, that's a one hundred percent. Reason being, with my with my husband, we've been inseparable from day one, and mm. I will tell you this: we we do we love the same things. We we the, obviously we do have our pros and cons of things that we may not agree with, but for the most part, it's cool. Like I'm yeah. I I'm extremely happy. You yeah. know, that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. Like I listen, that's a that's an amazing thing, but why I'm 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 kind of stopping it and calling the buck for what it is is because we have viewers that watch this and I don't want people to think that hey yeah it might have worked out for you you mm -hmm. had your feeling the way that you had your feeling but that's not necessarily reality You're right. that's why we have a lot of divorces mm -hmm. going on is because people are getting together and marrying each other a little too premature mm -hmm. hell if or anything for the wrong reasons that's for a, all that's the, the wrong, issue for all the yeah it could be for all the wrong reasons but marriage is it's not. It's at an all time low. Mm -hmm. Like you know, when's the last time you've seen people together? Like it, it's very rare. All the people that's been together for years are already old. Mm -hmm. You ask anybody, man. I know people that are on their third marriage. Mm -hmm. Third marriage, homie. Yeah. Crazy. It all depends on the people. Cause I had to yeah. do the math. I got married two years after me and my wife met, and we've been together thirteen years. You see what I'm saying? So, so you 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 half a year shy of hey, me. Yeah. Gr granted. But <clears throat> you know what I notice? It's kind of hard when two people are so much alike, mm, nah. right? Like I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just looking at it. Like it's, I don't want somebody that's just like me. Why is because I need that balance. <laughs> it takes a negative and a positive to make that battery work, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I don't want somebody. We can't have two positives on the same side. We can't have two negatives on the same side. Mm -hmm. It's not going to power the battery. I got to have somebody that doesn't do what I do or thinks outside the box of what mm -hmm. I do. We can't have two of us thinking we might fuck it up. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because no, have... this might be a fucked up situation and I don't got you like, hey, yeah. babe, hold on, let's really assess the situation. Yeah. Because that ain't what I would do. Just consider it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you, we, you, we have you our yin and that. yangs. We have our yin and yang. Motherfucker yang need that. So when somebody say like we're just so we're uh, just alike, that would scare me because mm -hmm. it's like how that that's too much of the same in the same melting yeah. pot. There's not going to be two different heads thinking in on this situation. It's just going to be the same kind of person. You're right. No, we we definitely balance each other. I will yeah. say that, and that's that's important when you have someone that you can actually balance each other out. Yeah. You know, and viewers, I'm not saying go and get married within a year of meeting. Thank somebody you. Thank i'm gonna you. clarify that thank you but for one you have to know are you both ready we mm. were both ready you know what i'm saying that's that's the first and foremost part is now i can respect the fuck out of that yes you felt like you were ready yes. and y'all are willing to deal with the consequences Absolutely. or with the greatness of if it can come to something great or a consequence mm -hmm. you're willing to accept that but i just don't want people to think that like hey, that's man, reality well right. yeah that's re like mm -hmm. don't think that oh just run out yeah mm -hmm. oh you love me yeah I love you. Yeah. yeah. No, he knew Let's go he. Get no, he knew he. He knew I was the one. And listen, when you when you know you, that's that. He said, "I'm I'm I'm nobody's having this no more." Yeah. He's he just locked it in. Some people, and I'm not trying to listen. I'm just in the conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not tripping off of your like y'all relationship. That that's your guys' relationship. You're just saying in general. I'm for... speaking in a general statement in a general fact that. That's not everyday reality. Of course. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really work like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people to think that maybe that's what's going to fix their relationship if they are kind of going through something. Mm -hmm. To well, Maybe we need to one-up a notch. <laughs> this chick said that she got married with, you know what I'm saying? So, like they got together and mm -hmm. they've been doing this, so let's do that. And sometimes that's going to fuck their whole relationship. But hold on, y'all just made the shit worse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just think people need to really You need sit to back live for yourself. Before you can live for anybody. Absolutely. First and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just want people to, to see that really learn the person that you're around. It's very important. Because, yeah, Donnie, not yeah, you've been with your you know what I'm saying, you met yours, you got married after two, y'all been together for 13. And you probably have a great life, right? Like, you guys are very happy. But there's some people that get in that situation, and guess what? They get married after two years, and they're miserable for the next 11. No, I agree. I definitely and they're miserable blessed. for the next 11, but because they don't get work. out of it, because they feel like, oh, well, this is the right thing to do, right? I got kids. No, and I got there's, there's a thing called counseling and learning each other. No matter how long you've been with somebody, like I said before, we all evolve. We change as human beings. You know, every five to ten years, we're changing even what we like. So it's just 
you evolve together. Sometimes that people, person you marry is not going to be the same hey, person. But so, but but in that in that in that move, throughout them years, people grow and grow apart. Mm-hmm. And it happens. That is true. And now we're just sticking to what we sticking together for because we've been together for 15 years and it, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to go start No, you got to find happiness. <clears throat> I tell people this all the time. No matter what, the grass is not always greener on the other side. If you if you have some sort of, if you knew you had happiness prior and you find, you're find you getting to a point where you're not getting along, along f- figure out another way to find happiness. My personal opinion, I feel like the era of actual wedlock is over. <laughs> You, you sound you got a miserable love life. No, I'm actually happy <laughs> with it because I can actually be free. Uh, so if, if that is so, listen to me. If I want to love the world, I can mm-hmm. love the world. I don't mm-hmm. have to sit there and force myself to love one person. You, if you if want I'm really ten different pussies, them. just say that. <clears throat> hey, if that's where I'm at, that's where I can just be say at. that. <clears throat> but it doesn't make me have a miserable love life. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. because I didn't sit there and want to lock down one person. I didn't say person. you're miserable, but you said I had a miserable you... love life. Okay, I said you must be miserable with your love life. Reason? No, I'm not. Okay, but best believe when that when that time passes and you get to the point where you're like 50, 60, and you're going to need a companion, what you hey, going to do then? I have better relationships with just knowing people <laughs> and just being there with them versus having to lock down any type of anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just being honest mm-hmm. with you. I've, I've learned to, <clears throat> there's been chicks that I know that I've been able, just being cool with them, I've ended up, and, and not stepping over certain boundaries, I've ended up knowing them way longer, having a better relationship with them than I would if I was sitting there telling them I'm in love with them and I actually try something with them. And then when it doesn't work, I end up resenting them. Mm-hmm. I've had better relationships doing that. Like, just like, hey, we are who we are. I love somebody who can understand me and who I am. And, I, and I, that's going to make me love them for loving me for who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I think it makes us go for a, a long call, even if it is something in an exclusive friendship. Sounds good. It is good. To I've you. had to create it for years. <laughs> I mean, shit. I've had to create sounds the shit. Sounds good to you. I've had to create the shit That for sounds years. like I mean, some player shit, okay? I mean, hello, it's sharp, church. sharp tank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I'm no fucking Brian Gumble here. Uh, different Mm-mm. strokes. You know what I'm saying? I'm no different Brian Gumble. Different strokes are different folks. I am no Brian Gumble. If you've done any of your history on me, sweetie, you should already know when mm-hmm. you said it sounds like a pleb, <laughs> they would tell you in the world, that sounds like a pimp. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> but off the off that note, um, I definitely want to talk about this real side chick of LA. Like I wanna, or like that, that's what it is, real side chick of LA. Yep. Real that's, side chick of LA. It, like I'm I'm curious, like. What's this like? What can we expect out of this? Like, what is what's the Oof. goal in this? What's well, the... uh, from day one, they definitely tested and tried me. You know, mm. I I don't know what it was. I guess you know they must have found out my contract that I got paid more than all of them, and they were just pissed. I ain't gonna lie, and it's not my fault that you guys don't have proper representation or shit don't rock with you, but. Don't get mad at me. So one of the girls on the show, she was acting real sedidity and whatnot, really tried me on on one of the scenes and pushed me, put her hands on me. I was like, oh, it was it was on. You know, the network said, we'll give you a, we give you this if you get into this situation. Like I said, you got to pay me to fight. Precisely. So they paid me to fight. Sure enough said, sure not done. You'll see that black eye on that next clip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the way you started, you wasn't even supposed to be on the show. No, no. I, w- I was going on the show just to introduce, kind of lead up to my next show, you know, and they felt like I would be a good asset. You know, I originally was going to talk about how, you know, I evolved from one show to the next. And um, it just, without saying too much, I don't want to give away too, too much of the show, but I had to end up making T-shirts with this girl's face on it. This is streaming right now. It's not out yet. It's not That's out yet. That's why I didn't want. I can't Real say Real side chicks of L.A. Yeah, it's on the Forest Bias Network. That's got to speak volumes because you really look at it and you're like, side chicks of L.A. Like, hold on, these are a bunch of side chicks on here. <laughs> well, you got to think about your, um, you know, your image here as nah. well. You know, because the the title's gonna say it all. Let me tell you something. It's just a title, baby. Yo. It's just a title. Basketball wives, hey. they weren't all married. Housewives, they weren't all. Hey. It's but just a title. What? It's I catchy. I promise you this, hey, because I do I do media content and 
the comments get crazy. That's mm-hmm. not what they're going to think. Of course not. You're not going to have, let me tell you something, you're not going to have one person in the comment section on that when all that shit drops or when the blogs are picking it up saying that not all of them are side chicks on there. Of course. That's not going to be the narrative of that's course. But that's the point. We want you to come and see what, what it's all about. We want we want that. See, negative. Gotta kill the show. No, no, it don't. No, it don't. I mean, there are some side chicks on that show now. No, there is, but they're gonna look at it like, aren't all of these chicks side chicks? Like that's they're gonna start calling out. They're gonna start saying, like, I don't even like that chick because that chick ain't even a, like she's not even supposed to but be. But they here. did that with basketball wives. They didn't know, and the people that were they in the did, comments did, still treated it as mm-mm. such. No, because I, mean, I I did I my research and I was like, hold up, she's not married. Hold it, she's not married. People do. I'm telling you, people like instant gratification. (laughs) Not everybody likes to go do the homework. They take it for face value. Mm You have to think about it. I've done many interviews, okay? And I'll keep it brief. I've done many interviews to where people will go off of the clip and what it's titled as Mm -hmm. to make their ultimate opinion about what they think's going on versus watching the entire thing or hearing my side to it. It's It's like a trailer. It's not going to, yeah, it's not going to matter. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you from experience, mm-hmm. it's not going to fucking matter. When you kind of hop under that brand and you hop under, it says side chicks of L.A., that speaks volumes. So when you heard that name, did it make you want to say, what the heck is this show about? I got to go see it? No, because I already know what a side chick does. No, you you wouldn't want to see it. My personal, like, I'm just saying, like, Did, did you want to see the show? Did you want us to be like, I'm going to check and see what this is about? For you? Because I know you. Okay. I'm being dead ass honest okay. with you. It's because I fuck with you and your personality and how you get, okay, I want to see how she acts on camera. Well, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my personal opinion of why I want to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or what I, why I want to see Most it. people, though, when they see that name, they're like, what the heck? What is this show about? I've seen many bitches act ratchet, side bitches act ratchet. There's so many shows out that are like that. Hell, I've done Blue Girls Club twice. <laughs> clusterfuck of evilness. <laughs> All of them. Like, I don't even know if you know, did millions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, fucking, it, trust me, it's everywhere. It's not, yeah. and I'm sure three out of the, because I did probably like 12 of them chicks. I'm sure five out of the fucking 12 were side chicks to somebody. Of course. If not, if not majority of mm-hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. how it always starts. And I get it. Get in the door however you can get in. Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand that. Listen, I, if I, I did one more chance, sweetheart. So Imagery, uh, and that's cool, and respected. But, show, show but is a show at the end of the day. Image is everything. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you, fellow to fellow, of, you know, being in this, in, you know, entertainment, just content, mm-hmm. period. What you put out and what you put behind your name is going to be everything to mm-hmm. your future. You're right. I promise you this. If I'm if I'm lying, I'm dying. I think anybody that's in this shit that has to go through the modes and the ups and downs, like I go, you have to think, man. There's thousands of comments about me everywhere mm-hmm. at all times, constantly going. Mm-hmm. So it, it it can fuck with you, man. It's not you don't just get to collect two hundred and go. It ain't Monopoly. Right, right. Well, that's different if you didn't have a brand prior to being on that show. So at it's the not end about of the, a brand, it it's imagery. About, you it have to is. think about it. It's some people that might want to fuck with your brand are scared to fuck with it because of the image that you've already portrayed. I'm telling you mm-hmm. the truth. Mm-hmm. From sponsorships, endorsements, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. They're gonna go back and they're gonna look, hold on. We wanna go give, we wanna give Cherise this. We want to sign her to a $15 million contract for three years. Man, I like this girl. And then they go to the CEO or go to somebody and they put, ain't that the girl that was on the side? Nah. It's the imagery. And it can fuck up your brand in the when, long run. When These you are see conversations. The show, when you see the show, you'll I'm see check it's it out. just the name. But, uh, but I'm looking at it in general. These are conversations mm-hmm. that are being had that can, that can be had mm-hmm. without you. Well, that's you could say the same thing with love and hip hop. Love and hip hop is ratchet. It's it's crazy too. At the end of the day, what was most of those people really in hip hop? No, were they in love? Not really. No, it's just a name. So, truth be told, I understand you where you're coming from as far as a, a name can. It's everything. Take it's your you. name, everything. Of course, but that ain't, ain't my name. Your... The show name ain't my name. But when you're under it, it still falls on you. You have to think about it. It's like, man, I hate having to even bring this up, but it's the truth. It's like this, even with No Jumper and some of the things that it took place. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I didn't have a lot to do with anything, guess what? Still falls on my back. Why, Hurley? Because I'm here. (laughs) 
So I have to deal with that. There's mm-hmm. no getting away from that, bro. Like it's, I'm just telling you from my experience. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no getting away from it, sweetie. And you can have a grand slam of a motherfucking uh, yeah, time. Yeah, you know how you can get away from it? You, you you utilize that show and then when you build up, you get another show that actually shows who you are and whatnot and your lifestyle show. And that's exactly what I'm doing. That's what the plan is. I already have it green lit from the network to where it's just a stepping stone. And it's not, this is not, I'm not doing season two. You know, I'm not, this is this is just to say, introduce you to what I got going on in my life and what, what I'm what I'm capable what of. What if it takes more than one season to get you to where you're going? Because I've done other things prior already. But I'm saying, where you're trying to head, mm-hmm. what if you stopping mm-hmm. and you not going on another two or you know, three? What if it takes season three for you to really break out the fucking box? If it does, but it only, does. But you're saying you're only doing one and you're done. I already, I already have it in the works. It's already filming. You said you're already, no, I'm saying you're like, it's one and done. We haven't even got to drop the first season to even see if it's going to be popping for you to even want to go back a second or third. Your mm-hmm. ass might need to go back that second or third. Mm-hmm. We'll might see. be a bigger bag. Might we'll be see. a lot of bigger opportunities. Or it might be like, well, fuck, you kind of need to go redeem yourself in, in season two. They were mm-hmm. fucking with you in season one, but now you need to go up in there and you're going to really need to turn the lights I'm gonna on I'm going to have to do bitch. a charm school on them bitches. That's just what I may have to do. And if I do, I still will be known for who I am. And that's what you, you'll see when you watch the show. I don't watch episodes. There's a lot of ratchet shit going on. Some. I need, then I like it. I want to watch it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you see, you see what I'm saying, y'all? Shit, I'm, okay. I'm just saying, like, I already know what to listen, but it doesn't excite me to be like, ooh, there's like a bunch of mystery. Uh-huh. Ooh, what's going on? I've seen ratchet bitches act the fuck up in our office. We get it firsthand. I'm taking pictures with chicks. As soon as we take a picture, right behind us, chick takes off on her. Bing, bing, bing. What? Right there. That's crazy. Right at, well, we're taking fucking pictures, man. This man's trying to do his job. It's like a fucking cesspool. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, it happens. Like, and these were all reality. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is for real. Like, mm-hmm. but motherfuckers is really taking off on each other. Yeah. Like, they're really and, doing and that's, shit. that's the crazy thing when reality really becomes, these shows become reality because people don't really know how to act and just leave it at the table. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They, they actually start having a real problem with you in real life. Yeah, yeah. Like, bitch, the cameras are off. Shut up. People get, listen. It's almost like, um, I don't know if you can resonate with me, it's kind of like uh, fucking wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people don't know how to turn the, ca- turn the character off after the camera goes off. Yeah. They get stuck in that character. Yep. And I think it's that same thing with, you know, a lot of these chicks. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And what we I would call ratchet TV. Yep, and that's why I that's had what to. I, that's what I really call that shit. All that shit <laughs> falls in a category, and it's called ratchet TV. Absolutely. And that's why I had to check a bitch and you know, show her who, who actually run this shit, literally. And you guys will see. I should have brought that shirt for you. I'm going to send it to you guys. Send it to me, man. Send me everything that you got. I really appreciate <laughs> it. Is there, what can we expect? Because... You got a lot of, you talk. You got a lot of talk about you. I do. For real, for real. You got a lot of talk like you just going to be there. Okay, so go ahead and make the make the promise to yourself. Not even the viewer. Make the promise to yourself. Where can we see, where where do you promise to see yourself in the next five years and we can all guarantee it? Mm. Where are you going to be okay. before we get out of here? Uh, definitely children, you know, top, top, top 10 billboard, 100, you name it. I'm going to be up there, hitch TV show. Happy marriage, you know, you got to put it out there, speaking into fruition. Do you want to do music, or are you? which one are you trying to I, blow in first? I do it all, but obviously I know my, you pa- do it my all, passion is music. My, I, my passion is definitely music. I so we're going to see love. you pass Beyonce and all of them. Yes. It's going to happen. Absolutely. Five years from now, we're speaking in existence. That's what's going to happen. That is. Shout out to Queen B, definitely. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be Queen C. <laughs> And, you know, my husband's a producer, so he's the yeah. one that actually produced Drop a Bag. And he's also featured on it, too, because he raps. So having a husband that actually produces and writes and does these amazing things, it's it's destined. It's like Mariah and, and Tommy Mottola, you know what I'm saying? You, mm. you, I needed I needed my king, and I got my king. And now all these people can't disrespect me in this game, because it's hard being a woman in this business, especially a bossy motherfucker like myself. So now I got somebody that can actually be like, all right, Let's get the shit done. Let's get these deals rolling. Teresa, I, I appreciate you for coming in. Like, 
I'm like sitting here just going back and forth with your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I try to take over your show. I'm like, listen, listen here. Uh, listen here. Don't be telling hey, me how to run this it's shit. A, it's a, this is a very hard show to take over. <laughs> I'm very humble anymore. I'm, I've tried to find my, my humbling ways. <clears throat> I'm into the zen of this shit anymore. You know, I could debate art. all day with you. Hey, I, I'm a debater. I'm into the zen of this shit. The <laughs> art. Then, hey, man, make sure you come pop your ass up every now and again. If Absolutely. you want to, and come sit your ass down. You know, you... You, you're always more than welcome to come sit down, man, and kick the shit. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You was kind of nervous coming here today, weren't you? Definitely not. I'm you never weren't. nervous. I got, listen, you know I got my husband right outside, right? That's why I said you were nervous. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you stupid. The Sharp Tank. <laughs> no jumper. Hello. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. Hey, Donnie, you know how to do this shit. Shoot us out the motherfucking gym.